Oh, it's just too hot, Steve. Man up, Colt. Training. We're back, Steve. Again. Only a week. A week. A week later, and we're back. Colin to take his roof rack off. Yep. No longer got sirens. Stairs. And you've probably already noticed those eagle-eyed amongst you staring out below our safety belts. Jovial Campus T-shirts. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> we're already on the A1, heading up north now, and it's 27 degrees Celsius. It's half past nine. So. <laughs> I have no idea how this camp is going to go because we've gone from a week, 7 degrees, hurricane winds, waterproofs, to I've had to buy new shorts. Yeah. I'm wearing ultralight shoes <laughs> and my bag now weighs 5 to 6 kilos heavier than it did last week simply because I've got 3 gallons of water. <laughs> 20 miles to go. Nice! Still 27 degrees. Not nice! <laughs> Colin's done a great job getting us these nice t-shirts made up, which for all of you now watching makes perfect sense. Jovial Campus t-shirts and uh, Man Spanked on the back. Yeah. Um, but it, it turns out uh, In that if, if, public. if you're sat on a table for two <laughs> in a restaurant predominantly with clientele of the older years, this, they look at you a certain way, and then it only just dawned on us like we've got jovial campers yeah. on the front yeah. and big man spanked <laughs> across the back. And <laughs> all of the kitchen were laughing, everyone was looking and pointing, and uh, yeah, it suddenly dawned on us like, oh my god, can I get that to go, please? Go just need to go. go. In fact, I don't want my breakfast anymore, so, I just want to leave. So we've, <laughs> we've decided that we'll put the t-shirts on when we arrive next, next time. time. We have arrived at um, a car park out of Glenridding and about 300 yards from Patterdale. Uh, the big white white horse I think it's called the Patterdale pub which is lovely. You can tell it's sunny because the car park's full. Yep. On a weekday they all come out when it's nice. You uh, see that? You see that look? What? It's the top of a mountain. Hey, I'm not used to seeing them Steve. Yeah. Normally in clouds. One massive change. Shorts. We're wearing shorts. Mad. Full blown, legs out, the lot. <laughs> there could be less, very yeah. shortly. <laughs> there could be a lot less. We have also, and this is quite important, something that we've never mentioned on our website before, is suntan cream. Sun cream. Sun cream, yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are walking in the Lake District, in the northwest of England, and we are advising you wear suntan cream on a day like this. We've just put factor 30 on twice now. Oh, cloud. That is nice. Oh, it's lovely. The path on the way out, and again, I'll video it. The path on the way out um, isn't that obvious, um, but it is going to work. <laughs> they always say, well, you, you always plan walks that just go up a sheer wall. <laughs> straight from the car park. This is a gentle one, apparently. I'm going to get my bag on. Yeah, I'm going to try to get my oh, bag I'm on. I'm not looking forward to this part. My new bag. So, apparently, <laughs> we go through this gate, and you go right and up that path there. Oh, you're having a laugh. Nope, sorry. Yes, yeah, this is uh, up. This is full up. This is wrong on every level. Sunshine, greenness. No wind. No wind, warm. Oh, Steve's falling over already. <laughs> I thought we were warm at 16 degrees in the rain and the wind last time. 
it's completely different now it's beautiful it really is gorgeous but my lord this is a steep steep gradient there's a lot of flies around a lot of the blood sucking variety yeah. as well keep checking ourselves making sure we're not getting bitten but i'll show you the gradient now steve's on his way up <sighs> nice to be in shade to be honest with you imagine doing this in height <laughs> getting sunstroke imagine doing this in the heat of the sun i'm already leaking from my boobs it's up it's uh it looks like somebody squirted us with water next on jovial campers don't put sun cream near your eyes <laughs> It really hurts your eyes when you sweat. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's Kirkstone Pass, or Kirkstone Pass. And down there's Brothers Water. Because we as brothers, innit? Brothers. From other mothers. mothers. 1,110 so feet now. I've never seen such good visibility for a long time. This is just good. The view is just stunning. Nah. stark contrast to the last one we've decided to just chill and take it in because we never get to do this on day one ever ever get to do this it's lovely it's just really nice it's just a different animal the lakes when it's like this it's like being on holiday abroad it's just perfect absolutely perfect there's not much water there's no we've not passed any streams apart from the one at the car park which is no use no ornament to anyone unless you get back and your dog needs a drink so uh so yeah keep an eye on that that's why we're carrying five tons of water with us oh, stop for another bit of a rest it's just gorgeous can you remember what we were doing this time last week steve That says Dick's seat. Look who sat down. <sighs> we have found about 10 <laughs> biblical camping spots along the way, half past three. Not uh, not late enough to camp. We're currently uh, struggling <laughs> looking at this, and it's uh, it's not a small it's not a small lump. It's not. Is it? Look devilishly high. 
I'm just gonna no, no yeah put it back on. and in this heat that's full blown nasty it is that Mr Cameo from the guys from Frozen the trolls he's a fixer up a few people out though today uh, so a uh, couple of people down at the uh, uh, down at Patterdale if you like um, that were going up to the priest hall to stay there tonight the words priest hall don't sit with me very comfortably <laughs> I'm going to use this opportunity to say thank you to both wives for letting us do these kind of things not letting us but you know just being happy on. with us we're doing this in the garden today sunbathing in bikinis <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah And, well, a bit, only a bit. As, as you may know from some of the other videos, I don't like these GoPro cameras and these stupid little things that are the size of the battery cameras. So they've got buttons all over the place. You press anything by accident and it starts doing all sorts of stupid things that you don't want it to do. You can't just turn them on and press record like you can on everything else. You've got to turn it on for 15 million seconds then press another button on the top then press another button and then finally it tells you that it's recorded but you've got no indication on the front or anything like that anyway colin's angry with me because for the last two hours of video there's been no audio because i've pressed something don't know what he didn't know either actually to be fair so that's how bad it is um so a lot of our videos got no audio up until this point fortunately it's only three videos worth so i'm making this one now just to say yeah we're camped this is where we are, look. And that, that's a pretty uh, special, special view. My latest gadget, which, for those who watched the last video, you know I bought on the top of a fell. Here it is. It's my wind speed reader. Um, five mile an hour winds and you can see underneath it it's 28.2 27.5 degrees still at this height it's magic absolutely magic but anyway that means just uh, turn that off that it's drone heaven oh yeah so we'll be able to get some amazing uh, shots tonight the the sky is clear we'll get some brilliant videos later on of star photography just have a zoom in on my uh Sunburn. Oh yeah, yeah. Cole's uh, <laughs> it looks nice there. He's overdone it. So you go like that. Ooh. <laughs> lobster. It's only this side. Lobster. Of that freaking lobster. Sun. So what's he done? Has he moved out of it? No. No. No, he hasn't. Don't be daft. That's just gonna get worse. Yeah. So yeah, stick with us, guys. It's going to be special tonight. It really, really is. We're camped on Dove Crag. Uh, we haven't got that far to go to get back, to be honest with you. We've got Little Heart Crag to do, um, High Hats Up Dodd, uh, then back down past Woodside and down past um, Brothers Water as well, uh, before we get back to the car. So that'd be quite a nice bit of video as well tomorrow. Um, as Steve says, we're going to do some star photography, and now I've said 50 times, so I'll shut up now and I'll go. Uh, we've had food, everything's done. We've not opened the wine yet, and it's 20 past six. It's going to be a late one tonight to get the darkness for the stars, so um, we're going to go easy on the wine. <laughs> Steve's gone for a little wonder. Stevie wonder. 
very superstitious. Steve just asked me to go over and see a view because apparently it's epic. Uh, see the tents just back there. Uh, and we're walking sort of this way to see if there's a really nice view. What is weird is walking without the packs on. <gasps> that is surreal, isn't it? Oh man. That is biblical. You can oh, actually, Lord. you can use that word here. You can. That is crazy. Look at this. Oh, managed to get some grass in there. Nah, no wind. This time last week, sandblasted. <laughs> yeah, completely sandblasted. This week, sunburnt. Eerily quiet, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, I've already been eaten alive by so many different nah, things. I'm gonna go put some uh, Mozzie spray on. What time is it, Col? Uh, quarter to seven. How long we got? 15 minutes to we open the wine. Right. Time is it, Col? 14 minutes to seven. How long we got? 14 minutes. Time is it, Col? 10 to seven. How long left? 10 minutes. But all Steve wanted to do was drink wine. How am I gonna make it? On the fell. Go without me, bruv. Five minutes. How am I gonna make it? How am I gonna make it? I'm so excited. Cool! What? Son! Wine time! temperature wine in a wine glass on a fell with an epic view like that we your best mate you can't really beat that can you it's nice <laughs> sat in his tent, which, don't get me wrong, in my tent it's 350,000 degrees. But I've been sat outside my tent for the past two hours. It's getting a bit chilly now, so I've put my thermal on. I'm fine now, lovely it's toasty, it's lovely. But I'll pass you to Steve now and let him do his thing, make him feel better. If I think it's still 25 degrees at least. Not 24, 25 25 degrees. Do it, it is. now on video. All right, let, let's, it's, right, you know what, I'll you know it. what. I'll do it. I'll All right, get, it. My, get my yeah. windmeters, yeah. Colt. Just to shut him up, because now. honestly, the men and mouse thing, it just, it just goes on. He's now in full, and I am not joking, full thermal gear. <laughs> full, all his thermals are on. Right, okay, here we go. No. Wind speed, zero. <laughs> Temperature, 13.8. No way. Yes. 13.8? Yes. Is it? Come and have a look. I hate it when that happens. I didn't think it was that cold, but then again, I am in my tent, I admit, and Colin's outside. So it's 13 degrees now. So we've gone from 27 to 13 in about two hours? Two hours, yeah, yeah. Two hours. So, you know, I've just put on my thermal top. I've still got my shorts on. Done it again. Done it again. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> All right, you see, I'll I'm do. paranoid. I'm paranoid this button. Sorry, I did it again. I did it again. I, just every single part of this camera is a button. It's, it's, I can work it fine, Steve. I, it was 31 degrees when we set off and we were struggling in the heat. You know, we were sweating. We had shorts and t-shirts on. That's all we had on. And yet right now I'm sat here. I've got my thermal top on, my jovial campus t-shirt on, a hoodie and, and this. A camel toe. <laughs> and a camel toe apparently. If you've been walking for five hours, 
lugging 25 kilos on your back in 31 degree degrees, heat. degrees yeah now it's cold yeah so your body goes actually now i'm cold yeah i'm cold yeah because it's all relative it's all relative to the temperature that you've been all day i get cold quite quick i don't have colin's 17 kilos of blubber I don't have... <laughs> it's time to introduce the uh naked photo of steve on a fell <laughs> enjoy ladies and some guys, I suppose, maybe. I still can't believe that it's nearly half past ten. And it's still so light. This is what we come for. Nearly it won't get dark until about eleven tonight. I reckon. Based on our... Uh, yeah. Latitude. Yeah. Morning guys, really nice sleep last night, both Steve and I slept naked on top of the sleeping bags. In separate tents. In separate tents, obviously. <laughs> 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 um, and then woke up this morning to uh, usual jovial campus pea soup. It's nice. But it's warm, it's really really nice, it's pleasant. It's probably about 15 degrees. It's going to be about 21 down at the bottom, so shorts and t-shirt is the order of the day again. Not falling for that. It was a good night. Didn't really get dark though. No, it didn't get dark. So there were no star photography to be had. We stayed awake till one in the morning. Yeah, one in the morning we stayed awake to, to get some star photography. Nah, we maybe saw half a dozen stars. So yeah. Yeah, there's a little top tip for you. Summer solstice. Yeah, summer time. solstice is not the ideal place. Star yeah, time to do uh, star photography. So anyway, we're going to pack up and get cracking and we'll see you when we're done. Yeah, again, another one of our greatest mottos. We left it. As we found it. Yeah, we special that one last night. That yeah. was a special. I think one of my favourites. That's going to go in the top ten, is that? Definitely. Top ten of favouriteness. He's packed his bag too small and his tent's falling off. I've seen a few people up top already. Uh, a nice young couple. And uh, a couple of people that must have been wild camping on this bit last night. Uh, we saw them walking along here. Just saw a video on this bit because it's properly brutus on the legs. It's a brutal brutus. We camped up there on that ridge. Come down here and it, yeah, it hurts. <laughs> There's an uphill there. And we've described that as the warm up because we're going to get really warm going up it. Honestly. Ow. Ow. Full brutus on legs. Knee wobbles already. It's the knees, it just hurts.
Right then, the last ascent has been done. Little Heart Crag done. We are now at the top of Little Heart Crag. Behind you can see our camping spot in the high mountains. Yeah, it does feel hotter than yesterday. Nothing to cool down. No wind, nothing. Just warm, warm, warm. The fortunate thing is now we've done all the climbs. It's time now to uh, descend. And uh, we've got about, we got? 2,015 feet to descend in, well, probably in real, real terms, 1,600 feet to descend in what is less than a kilometre. <laughs> so there's going to be some uh, shocking downs, I think. But, we won't do it if we didn't love it. Well, this is quite brutal, this. <sighs> oh, Steve nearly went. <laughs> Steve's cheap bag's letting him down again. Tent's just dropped off. Oh, no way! I'm getting mauled! <laughs> one thing we've just noticed about this walk is the first one that we've come down, really, that you can see the full extent of it, where we started, where we climbed, where we walked, and where we finished. Uh, and it's brilliant. I mean, apart from this massive rocking way here, um, fly, we came up the forest, up over there, and then we came back down again, Basically all across that ridge up line. and then down and then all the way up and then camped up here. Came all the way back round, 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 and up again and then back down there and then all the way across this field. Now we've got about a mile of flat. Right on the top of that sheer cliff edge there. Yeah, right on the top we, of the sheer cliff edge. Camped. So it's the highest point. Yeah. Nice. Really nice. Nice. And pretty. A gorgeous, gorgeous walk. Gorgeous walk. Yeah, it's a really good one this actually. Really good one. Easy to get to. Yeah. Free parking. Just outside Patterdale. If you want, you can go for a pub grub at Glenridden. We won't be, obviously. No. Because it's all about the cheese, cheese sandwich. sandwich. <sighs> but yeah. Just thought we'd film this a little bit because it's gorge. Full gorge. A couple of nice campsites. Nice little farm here with the bridge. It's all good. It's all good. We'll be back in a bit with a closing statement. Don't forget to subscribe. So in the whole of the journey, we um, this has been the only place to get water. Right at the very end and right at the very beginning. And simply just on dry days. I'm sure further up there'll be, you know, running water when it's raining and stuff like that. But do bear in mind if you yeah, be yeah, do bear in mind if you come out on a dry day or if it's been dry for a few days there is no water on this run so bring plenty well we did because we knew but just to confirm it to you guys yeah there's, there's not much water Steve's just replenishing now with his water to go bottle I've got plenty of water left and we're all good got a shot of that which is nice really good we found a lamb he's a little cutie mm -hmm. came running up to us barring Full cuteness, absolute full cuteness. <laughs> bye bye then. Bye. bye. <laughs> Closing statement, Steve. Really good weather. Really good. Incredible weather. Such a change in one week. It's bonkers. Not only that, the walk was superb. We went the, the correct way around. I think it'd have been a bit demoralising to go up, but we just came down and then look at and be able to see. <coughs> Uh, what you have to climb, whereas the way we went, you couldn't see it, you know, the precipices and things like that, which was really nice. Some good drone footage. Yeah, some lovely drone some footage. Some lovely drone footage, footage. yeah. It's really nice. It's been so, so, so nice. Woke up this morning warm in my tent for the first time ever in the history of mankind. Yeah, too warm. Too warm, yeah. Too warm. Yeah, yeah. Just um, the star photographer, that was the only thing that was surprising. Yeah, not many stars. I really thought we were going to get some belters last night. Coming past Brothers Water now on the pass, which will take us all the way directly back to the car park. On the flat. <laughs> on the flat, yeah, there's a bit of an incline, but it's not bad. Nothing like that uh, descent we've just done. Jeez. Yeah, that's a nasty one. Yeah, a couple of uh, hurts. Other people going up as well. And uh, we said we couldn't sugarcoat it, it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really good one. Really, really good one.
There's only one more thing to do, Steve. There it is. Jeez, Steve sandwich. sandwich.